welcome to the full disassembly and reassembly of the Dymo 1570 label maker. There were a lot of requests after my last video, so today we're going to walk through the full uncut version of the disassembly and reassembly. This is the first video I took of the disassembly and reassembly, so bear with me as we go through and take the Dymo 1570 apart, look at all the parts, and put it back together. We will begin with great peace of mind. This is essential in all things, but especially in the disassembly and maintenance of mechanical devices. So, let's take our Dymo 1570, and first, let's remove the embossing tape. We don't need that in there while we're doing the disassembly. Next, let's reconsider the framing of our camera. Let's zoom out so we can see the whole work surface. That's better. Now that we can see everything, let's go ahead and remove the letter wheel from the label maker. It should just pop right out, just like that. Next, we can remove the cover for the cutting lever. This cover can just be compressed and slid out just like that. Now, let's grab a screwdriver. A Phillips head screwdriver is what you need to remove the two screws that hold this entire thing together. Let's go ahead and unscrew both of those screws. Okay, now we can remove one half of the enclosure. Let's be careful here. There is a large spring in this mechanism that can pop everything out. So, go easy, go slow, take your time. Some pieces fall off, that's not a problem. Let's keep our finger on that spring so it doesn't launch everything across the room. And we can decompress the spring by releasing the embossing lever. Awesome. Now we can see the inside of the label maker. This is a good time to take a look at where everything fits. Make sure you understand how everything goes together so you're ready for the reassembly when we get to that step. Now, let's remove the embossing lever and remove the mainspring from the label maker. Okay, we can go ahead and remove the gears for the tape feed. And we can remove the embossing mechanism and levers from inside the label maker. Again, make sure you understand how everything fits together so you're ready for the reassembly later. Let's take off the cutting handle. Now let's remove the letter wheel platform and the cutting blade carrier. There we are. Now 
Now, let's reconsider our layout here. Let's rearrange our components until we feel satisfied with the layout. Always be knolling. Good knolling is very satisfying. Now we can take a look at the cutting blades. This is the video I took of the disassembly and reassembly before I removed the tape from those cutting blades. If you haven't watched the original video where I go into cleaning out these cutting blades, sharpening them, and reassembly, you can find the link here. Go check it out. Okay, let's consider our next steps for the reassembly. We can begin with one half of the enclosure. It's easiest to start with one half so you can just place all the pieces in their proper locations and then put the other half back on top. We'll begin with the cutting blade mount and the letter wheel platform. Let's set those back in place. It might be tricky to realign them, but that's okay. Take your time, get everything aligned so that it's sitting in the right location inside the label maker enclosure. Now, let's reinstall the cutting handle, which has a small spring. You might have to fiddle with this a bit and compress the spring to get it to fit. Again, don't worry, it'll all go back together. Okay, let's go ahead and reinstall the levers for the embossing mechanism. Take your time, make sure everything is aligned properly. You can also reinstall the tape feed gears, make sure those mesh well and are sitting properly inside the enclosure. Okay, now we can reinstall the embossing handle and the large spring. Let's make sure the embossing handle fits into the embossing mechanism properly and that everything lines up and that there's good action on those mechanisms. Some things might pop out. You might have to reinstall them. That's totally fine. Everything will go back together eventually. Okay. Now for the large spring. So let's make sure it slots into the embossing handle and then fits into the slot on the enclosure. And we can then compress the spring and seat the embossing handle inside the enclosure. 
now that the spring is compressed, there's going to be a lot of force on here. So be careful, keep a thumb on the mechanism so everything doesn't fall apart. But let's get the cover for the letter selector reinstalled. And the cover for the tape um, is easier to install after. So let's just put on the other half of the enclosure. Make sure everything lines up nicely. And it should snap together. Take your time, don't force it. Make sure everything lines up. And then we can just sneak the, uh, the cover for the tape compartment back in there. Snap that in and everything, everything should be good. Let's reinstall the screws to hold everything together so that spring doesn't launch everything all over the place. Don't force the screws, just finger tight is fine. You don't want to strip them or wreck the enclosure threads. Nice. Now, let's just make sure all the levers have good action. They're making that nice, crisp clicking noise. Sounds good. Everything's functioning properly. And we can reinstall the cover for the cutting handle. That just slides in and snaps in. And we can try and put in the letter wheel now, but uh, we had a little error here, so we misaligned this little plastic tab. Let's not panic. We just need to reseat that properly. So let's loosen those screws. So we have a little room to work with with the enclosure. Just loosen them off a little bit. And we should be able to just pop that tab in and check that everything is aligned properly now. Perfect. Let's tighten those screws back up. Okay, everything's tight. Check those levers again, make sure everything's functioning. And now we can put that letter wheel in. Should slot right in and with a nice good snap. Now, let's install the tape. Push the tape through close the tape cover door and let's check that the tape feed works well that the gearing is functioning and the wheel moves the tape back and forth everything seems to be working and now we have a fully reassembled Dymo 1570 label maker thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Take care. If you enjoyed the video, click the subscribe button or I started a Patreon page so you can check that out too. Catch you on the next one. Thanks.